Hi there, neighborhood mystics. Let's talk a little astro magic with the Cancer New Moon. I've got a simple new moon ritual that you can do for this new moon in Cancer and work a little astro magic and bring yourself some good things that Cancer can bring. So I'm going to try to make this not too complicated. We have the new moon in Cancer that was on the 23rd. Okay, this is 25th today that I'm recording this. So basically, while the moon is gaining in light from the new moon to the full moon, you can do a new moon ritual anytime in there. Okay, so we're going to talk about the timing first and then we're going to get into exactly how to do the ritual. So let's talk about the timing. So the timing, like I said, is anywhere between the new moon, which was on the, th the 23rd, and July 7th, which is right before the, the full moon on July 8th. So the moon will be gaining in light during that time, and you can do the, a new moon ritual anywhere in there. Now, what would make it even nicer, better, however you want to say it, is if you could do it on the day of the moon, which is Monday. Monday, moon day, Monday, moon day. If you could do it on a Monday between now and the full moon, that would kind of be even extra better here so, because you're kind of adding, adding layers, I guess, is what I'm trying to say, to the ritual. So those two Mondays are tomorrow, uh, the 26th, or July 3rd. So July 3rd might be a good one because you may be off for the July 4th weekend. Now, what would be adding another layer, which would make it even better, is if you could do it on a Monday between the new and the full moon at the hour of the moon. So the planetary hours are a way to divide up the day where each planet rules a section of the day and of the night um, on a particular day. So these things have to be calculated. I will give you links to a planetary hour calculator, both online and an app you can put on your phone. So that you're going to end up with a couple different times, most likely during the day that are going to be when you're awake. If it, you'll get ones that are in the middle of the night, and if you want to get up in the middle of the night to do a ritual, more power to you. But you're going to look for the hour of the moon. Now these are location; these calculations are location specific, so I can't give them to you. I have to give you the calculator and then you calculate it. Now, that said, I don't want to overcomplicate things. Really, the best deal is if you can do it on a Monday between now and the full moon. And then, if, and like I said, if you want to calculate that planetary hour and do it, but you don't have to. You do not. You don't have to do that, okay? Just doing it on a Monday is good enough. Or even not on a Monday, anytime between now and the full moon. And it's, start, it's starting to rain. Okay, it's like sprinkling, and it's not fully, this, the sun is kind of clear. But uh, anyway, okay. Or you can elect a day to do it by doing it between the new moon and the full moon and putting the moon on the ascendant or on the midheaven and making sure that the moon is not within 10 degrees of the sun, which is when it's combust, or 8.5 degrees, but just round it to 10 but these are all, this is only if you know how to elect. So you would have it not combust, you would have it on the ascendant or the midheaven, and you would have it not applying to any aspect with a malefic, which would be Saturn or Mars. So that would be a conjunction, an opposition, or a square. Like I said, I'm just saying that for people who know what I'm talking about. If you don't know what I'm talking about, ignore that part and just do the first part. Okay, all right, so we've got We've got the time. Let's just pretend it's going to be on the 3rd. Did I say, yeah, on Monday the 3rd. Okay, so we're going to do this ritual Monday, Monday the 3rd, just for example's sake. Okay, so what you're going to need are silver, silver or white candles for the moon. Now, the numbers associated with the moon are anything divisible by... Or any divisor, is that the word I want, of 28? So that would be 4, 7, or 9. Because you can multiply those numbers by something and get 28, right? Okay, remember your 6th grade math. Okay, so 
you need four, seven, or nine white or silver candles. Optional, you could have tarot cards with you, and those cards that would associate with it are the chariot, the moon, or maybe even the hermit. Okay, so the moon is self-explanatory. The chariot is associated, that card is associated with the moon through the golden dawn. If you notice on some tarot cards, that charioteer will have uh, the moon on his shoulders. And I think, I kind of think that that card has to do with like the, the sun at summer solstice, which is the sign of cancer. So that, would, that card could count for the moon. Um, and then also the hermit card, since eight, eight, the moon card is 18, so 8 and 1 is 9. And so the, the hermit has to do with this, um, you know, in the darkness interior space of knowledge. So that could associate with the moon as well. So just throwing that out there, that's optional. Um, you will need a black and white image of the moon. I happen to love woodcuts, so if you can just search the internet, find a, a black and white image of the, the moon that's a woodcut, that would be awesome. And then you also need uh, incense, so any kind of incense that is related to the moon. Okay, so now you have your materials. You have your day, which is going to be July 3rd, which is a Monday. You've got your materials, which is going to be candles and a black and white image of the moon. You might have tarot cards, and you will have incense. Okay, pretty simple. Simple so far. Okay, so what you will do on that day when you're doing the ritual, and it might be at the hour of the moon, it might not, is you are going to light the candles and incense. You are going to color the image. And then you are going to write your goal across the image. So just write it right across the image, write your goal, and then you will turn that image over and you will draw the magic square for the moon. Now I will have all these resources linked in the description, so don't panic. And I'm gonna add them to this video too. But the, all the resources you need are gonna be in the link at the bottom of the video, okay? So what you do is you, you color in that picture, you write your goal, you flip it over, you put the magic square on the back, and then you can wave, um, that piece of paper that that you made that you colored and drew through the incense and then you can either just stop and meditate on your goal for a little bit or you can do the orphic hymn to the moon once again i'll link it up in the description and then when you're finished you just snuff out your candles snuff out your incense and you're done and that's your new moon ritual now what i would do is i would just have a little journal or a little, or even on your calendar, just put the date that you made that talisman because I have made um, talismans and, you know, or candles or whatever I'm doing, you know, for like ast astrological magic. And then like the stuff that I asked for actually comes true, but I forget when I actually, if it's more than a couple months, I'll forget when I made that, that talisman. So it's kind of nice to know because I'm always like, well, how long was that? Has it been six months? Has it been eight months? Like, I don't, you know what I mean? I don't know, because if it's, I said any more than two months, I'm not, I'm not gonna remember. So, so that's a little tip for you there. Um, and then, since this is a moon talisman, I caught this on um, an interview with Kelly Surtees and Ryan, his name's Ryan something. I don't remember his last name, but I'm gonna link that video too. Um, he was saying it's good to keep those moon talismans in the dark, which makes sense. So keep it in your wallet, keep it in a book on your bookshelf, you know, whatever you want to do, but kind of keep it in the dark. And so that is the instructions for your new moon ritual for the new moon in Cancer. Good luck. Put any questions you have in the comments or any results you have in the comments, and I'll see you next time. Oh, no, please like and subscribe. I appreciate it. Bye.